Hi everybody, this is Mary for Stamping Camp with Mary and Mary's Stamping Happenings. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator and today is Tips and Techniques Tuesday. And today I want to uh, do some more work with our blending brushes and um, some dies. Now I've already cut out, the, there is so much you can do with um, dies. I used, uh, for this one, I used the, the hydrangea dies. Um, I had already stamped and cut out a few of these with the uh, stamp set and used them on cards, but I had a bunch of these left. This is out of um, a piece of um, watercolor paper, but these are out of the um, just Whisper White, and you can use those if you want also. Uh, what you're going to need is you're going to need some inks, and this one I've used, I'm going to use um, Flirty Flamingo Melon Mambo. I'm going to use Old Olive and Garden Green. Um, to blend the colors with our blending brushes. And first of all, you're going to just stick this on a piece of Whisper White, whatever color you really want. You can do it almost to any color. And I'm just going to put it over because I'm going to use, I'm not going to use this again, um, the Whisper White. I will um, use that with my punches and I will just... Um, punch some punches out of that, punch some punches, punch some labels out of it. So I'm going to use washi tape to just to hold this down. And then I'm going to take the lightest color of the pinkish reds, and you can do it with any colors you want. These are hydrangeas, and let me tell you, hydrangeas come in almost every single color there is. And I'm just going to start off and just go around and then I'm going to take the darker which is the melon mambo and I'm just going to go on the outside just what I'm doing is I'm just blending it so I can uh, let me do it on this so I can blend the coloring in a little bit better. And it has a little di different shade. And then I'm going to do the same with the greens. So I'm going to start with the Old Olive. I'm going to take my green blending brush and start with Old Olive. And I'm going to just, again, start outside and go inside with the blending brush. Yeah, Mary got pink all over, so it's going to have a little pink on it. And then I am going to go with the Garden Green. And here I want to get the stem a little darker, because stems usually are darker. Now and then again, I just want to blend this in. So I'm going around in circles to blend that in. So it, you can see a little bit of the difference. Okay, then I am just going to take this off. Now you can use it as is. You could even leave it here and use the where is my use the stamparatus and you can stamp ink up this the hydrangea and lay it down on there and pick it up with the stamparatus then put ink on it and then you can ink it I just want to use it as this so I'm just going to take this off, save that for the next one I'm going to do. Huh, 
maybe save that one for the next one I'm going to do. And there you go. Now, with the hydrangea um, haven, you can take your stamp cut emboss machine and you can cut this out and you get like this. And this, I, I told you, I uh, did some of these. Um, you see, blues, pinks, reds. I uh, did some of these with the little hydrangea ones, this. You can use this one, whatever. But you've got these, and then you can just mount these and make cards out of them. So, I want to thank you to visit. Um, I'd appreciate it since I'm an independent demonstrator. This is my small business. If you'd shop with me, and please follow me on uh, YouTube, and Thanks for visiting. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.